In this video, I go over how to set up and configure AppArmor so you can create profiles for any custom scripts or programs you may be using. AppArmor is a Debian-based alternative to SE Linux. SE Linux is prevalent in Red Hat, CentOS, and Fedora systems. So AppArmor basically allows you the ability to restrict access to certain application scripts or programs to only do certain things or only allow parts of the system access. To that program. So this is a really great uh, thing. It, on the default Ubuntu, I'm running 18.04, and it already comes pre-installed and enabled. So if you're having a problem with a script, not being able to access a certain thing, there's a good chance AppArmor is actually blocking you, and you need to configure it. So in this video, I go over three basic commands you have to know to maintain AppArmor and add scripts or custom programs to it. Okay, the first command I wanted to show you guys is AA status. Um, this kind of gives you an exact readout of what AppArmor is doing right now. So if you don't get anything or AA status is not available or the module is not loaded, um, AppArmor is an actual service. So to check that, you can actually start the service by just doing a system control like so. And I'm just going to do status app armor. This actually shows me it's running. Now, if it is stopped, make sure you enable it by instead of status, you'd put enable and hit start to go ahead and start this service if it is disabled on your system. Likewise, if you wanted to completely disable app armor here, you can actually type system control disable app armor. So there's the basics of the actual service that does deviate a little bit from SE Linux. SE Linux is technically part of the operating system and not just a service like it is in Debian. I'm not sure if there's much of a difference with that. All I know is it is a little different on Debian and this is the differences. So with that said, um, let's go ahead. I'm gonna run a status one more time. And I wanted to go over the three modes you're seeing here. Um, you'll see enforcing, which if you go here, hey, 30, profiles are in enforce mode. This basically says it forces it to do it. If this program tries to deviate and jump outside of what it is allowed to do, it will be denied. Um, the second one is complain. So complain right here at LibreOffice has this. Uh, if it tries to jump outside of what it's you know allowed to do, it will allow it, but it will complain about it and log it. And then the third one that is actually not in here is unconfined. Unconfined basically says, hey, this program can do whatever it wants on this system and it's not gonna log it or complain about it. So that is the very first uh, command you should know in AppArmor. So now that we know how to check AppArmor, let's go ahead and set a policy for some custom scripts I have. Um, these scripts technically work just fine, but for today's video, I wanted to use them just as an example. So if I do a uh, fix cam, that's what I run every time my system starts up to fix my camera settings. I have it set under my cron tab. Um, but let's just check it out real fast. Fix cam two. You'll see it runs this, this command that goes ahead and fixes my autofocus. So it doesn't autofocus, some exposure settings and sharpness. Just give my crappy webcam some configuration so I don't look like crap for you guys. Um, and let's go ahead and make a profile for this in AppArmor. If we uh, just do a, a sudo aa-genprof fix cam 2.sh. And obviously for your script, fix cam would be something else, but this is just an example. Okay, I had to stop the video for a second. I actually forgot to install AppArmor Utils. You can actually not generate a profile for an application if you don't have this package installed. 
So I'm going to go ahead and install this package for you guys just to see sudo at apt install app armor utils. Okay, so now that that is done, let's rerun our generate profile command. And as you see here, we can go ahead and scan the system log for app armor events. And from that scan, it did not detect anything. Let's see. It did not, so we can go ahead and hit finish. So it finished generating that profile. And we can actually check to see what profiles we have by doing the AA status again. So let's just go ahead and pull that command back up. And you'll notice we now have that other generated profile in the top there. Now, if this script did do other things, um, it would prompt you. Um, those prompts will be inherit, child, deny, abort, or finish. Uh, I always do inherit. I haven't actually done any of the other ones. Um, I go ahead and hit I for inherit, and then I finish in saving those changes to that profile. Um, I'm gonna link an article also in the description. So when you're doing this and you have a program that does require elevated privileges or uh, special privileges in your profile, you can actually go and do this as well using a detailed guide. But for today's video, I just kinda wanna do a broad overview. And this is the second command you need to know. And the third is more of a maintenance command for your custom profiles, which I'm about to go over. For the third command, it's going to be AA log prof. So much like how we generated the prof, prof, uh, profile, you actually need to log it or see if any changes have been made that you might need to update that profile. And this is a good way of doing it. So let's go ahead and do sudo aa-log prof. It reads the log entries and then updates any of our profiles that exist on our system. This is great for after you created the profile and then uh, let's say that program gets updated and now it needs more privileges. This will go through and automatically update our profiles so AppArmor will keep functioning properly. And these are really the three basic commands. So that's going to get you started on AppArmor. And if you want to delve deeper, go ahead and check out that article. Really, you won't need to use that. What I've given you today should be able to make any system work, any script work in your Ubuntu. That uh, article is really for system admins if you wanted to get into merging profiles and things of that nature. Um, I highly recommend it. It's a good read for managing more app armor profiles across, like, let's say, an enterprise or an organization. But that's it for today's video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.